In England, they do cheese rolling, where you roll a double Gloucester cheese wheel down a hill, and the first to cross the line wins. In Scotland, they have haggis hurling. You hurl a haggis as far as possible. The haggis must be edible after landing. The furthest haggis throw wins. In India, they play elephant polo. It is the same as normal polo, but instead of on the backs of horses, you play on the backs of elephants. In Colombia, they play tejo, where you throw a metal puck onto a one meter square clay covered board and attempt to sound gunpowder underneath. In Turkey, they have oil wrestling. Wrestlers are covered in oil and must try to pin their opponents to the ground. In the USA, they have street loot, where you go downhill lying on a sled and see who can reach the highest speed. In Australia, they play Hernando. Players take turns to drop and kick the ball as high as possible and then catch it. In Afghanistan, they play Blukeshi. Two players on horseback to compete to gain control of a headless goat carcass from the centre of the Bukashi field. In Armenia, they do egg jousting. Children joust with eggs until the opponent's egg becomes completely cracked. In Brazil, they play foot volley. Foot volley is played like beach volleyball, but except using your hands, you may only use your feet. In Iran, you play gol gol. Players have to guess the type of flower that has been chosen by an opposing team. In the Philippines, they play patinero. Two groups of five players take turns to get past short lines guarded by an opposing team. In the Philippines they play Kidoa. Players throw stones upwards in turn and try to hit as many other stones as possible and then they collect the stones that they hit. In Austria they do skeleton sledding. Participants slide on a frozen track laying face down on a skeleton sled. In Malta, they play Brille. Form a square with three rows of skittles. Points are gained by knocking down as many skittles as possible. In Moldovia, they play Trinta. Players must try to pin their opponent to the floor so that their shoulder blade touches the ground. In Uganda, they play hoop. Take a hoop, place it round your waist and see who can retake as many times before it hits the ground. In Kazakhstan, they play gardener. A gardener gives each player a plant and they must name the answer of the plant in a recited poem. Seven stones is played in Jordan. Seven stones are piled on top of each other within a circle. A player then takes turns to attack the pile with another stone to make it fall. In Tanzania, they play shape. Two teams of six players work as attackers and defenders on a grid the same size as a volleyball court. 